What's up, guys? Welcome to Superwise. I'm John, and I reported on this yesterday. And as expected, the first official trailer for James Gunn's The Suicide Squad has dropped. Now, I haven't seen the trailer yet, so I'm going to react to it and give you my first genuine reaction. But before I do that, very quickly, I just want to recap what I said previously in my last video. I was really excited for The Suicide Squad when it was first announced. I mean, a James Gunn directed film, a 1970s hard R gritty war film? Dude, sign me up. But as the months passed and we saw really nothing about it, I lost hype. And the Suicide Squad at DC Fandom looked bad. It was embarrassing for that movie because the Batman, Matt Reeves the Batman, was only 25% done at DC Fandom during that time. Still, we got a full two minute trailer. Suicide Squad, we just got a behind the scenes video showing little snippets of footage. So I lost a lot of hype for this film. Now I'm sure it's gonna be really good because it's James Gunn. I just need to see some footage to get me hyped, to get me truly excited. I need to restore my excitement. So now let's go ahead and react to this trailer. I'm excited to see new footage. I really do like King Shark and Polka Dot Man, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how James Gunn handles those characters. So let's go ahead and do this. Red Band, let's go. <laughs> I love that Quentin Tarantino zoom cut. Wow, blood sport. I love how they're like in normal clothing. Weasel is creepy, man. Michael Rooker from the horribly beautiful mind. Captain Boomerang, Nathan Fillion. Oh, 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 any oh. questions? <laughs> Bruh. That is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. Kyle, son. We're all so sick. That is funny. You failed the mission. You die. If we find out any information you give us, it's false. You die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you die. What? No. If you cough, you have to cover in your mouth. Harley, although that isn't an open invitation for you to cough without covering your mouth. Wow, King Shark looks dope. How am I supposed to know? You're the leader. You're supposed to be decisive. I'm just trying to use to a big bag of dicks. This whole beach was completely covered in dicks. If somebody said I'd eat every dick until the beach was clean for liberty, I would say no problem. Why would someone put penises all over the beach? Who knows why mad men do what they do? Oh, oh. Damn! I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> Who is that? Oh my god! We gotta freaking tie you up in this shit! Oh my gosh, it's Starro! Bro! Let's go! <laughs> yes! So yeah, I really liked that trailer. Like I said before, I was losing hype, but this trailer has sort of just restored my excitement. The movie just looks silly and wacky and fun and colorful. The jokes and comedy was sort of meh. You know, I chuckled, but I wasn't laughing out loud. But James Gunn is a really funny guy, so I'm sure he's going to bring some really great comedy to this film. 
and the hard R violence. Oh my gosh, King Shark literally tears a person in half and eats a guy. Crazy. And the fact that the iconic Sylvester Stallone is voicing King Shark, that's just amazing. I love Sylvester Stallone as an actor. I grew up with his Rocky movies, and I just look up to the guy. I think he's just awesome. And the fact that Sly is voicing King Shark, I was already looking forward to seeing King Shark because I'm a fan of the character. But the fact that Sly is voicing King Shark, bruh, bruh, let me get this movie right now. But easily, the highlight of this trailer was seeing Starro. Starro was always rumored to be the villain of this film, but now we have confirmation that Starro is the villain. And Starro is a really iconic Justice League Flash Green Lantern villain, so I'm glad that they got a recognizable villain for this film. The character of Starro is just so wacky and goofy. He fits perfectly into this film, and there's been rumors that Taika Waititi is going to be voicing Starro. I really hope that's true. I think that's perfect. King Shark and Starro were like the standouts to me. Everything else was fine. The team dynamic, that looks fun. The action looks really fun. The comedy is, you know, fun. I just really like this trailer overall. Was it worth the wait? Not really, no. It didn't blow me out of the water like The Batman at DC Fandom. This is a trailer that we should have gotten at DC Fandom, but that being said, I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I really like it. Didn't, you know, super, super hype me up, but it got me excited, and that's the premise of a trailer. So it worked. Love seeing Star, love seeing King Shark. I can't wait to see this movie, you know? But tell me in the comments down below, what did you think of this trailer? Did it blow you out of the water? Did you think it was just fine? Tell me in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this movie? Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subbed already, I'd love to have you here. You'd be supporting the channel, and it'd be greatly appreciated. So subscribe, that will be all for me. And remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.